Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name's Natalie, and I do videos on handbag reviews, unboxings, anything luxury related. So if you like that kind of content, please consider subscribing. I'd love to have you back. In today's video, I'll be sharing with you guys some luxury items that I've recently sold and why. And you might be surprised at some of these items that I've sold because I was a little bit surprised myself that I sold them, but I did go through like a whole thought process and I'll explain to you all the reasons why I sold them. So the very first luxury item I sold was from Louis Vuitton and this was a really hard decision because this piece, this bag in my collection I've had for a number of years, like ever since I started my luxury journey, like this was one of my very first bags and from Louis Vuitton. So yeah, this was very hard for me to let go, but I just wasn't reaching for it and it just wasn't getting enough use. And I had other bags in my collection that I'll reach for over it. So the very first luxury item that I sold was my Louis Vuitton Eva clutch. And I know that really hurts because I absolutely love the Eva clutch. It's such an iconic bag, like it's so classic. And I'm so sad that Louis Vuitton have actually discontinued it because it's such a great versatile crossbody shoulder bag. And I have done a whole video on my Eva clutch and yeah, I just loved it. But I just wasn't reaching for it ever since I got my Louis Vuitton pochette accessoire. I actually got this strap here from Organize My Bag and it's just like a perfect pochette leather strap that matches the Louis Vuitton monogram pochette perfectly. So I just wear this all the time when I want like a small crossbody bag. And even though like this isn't completely weatherproof, I have sprayed the pochette here with this like kiwi spray that I have that in Australia it's kind of like it acts like an apple guard in a way so it just protects the leather but yeah I sold the Eva clutch because one I just wasn't getting enough wear out of it and two I just wasn't in love with it as I used to be so the Eva clutch I had it in the Demi a bean print and it had this giant gold plaque on the front so just pretend this is like the Eva clutch the plaque was like this big and it was just really like gaudy and like I just didn't really like that style anymore. It just didn't suit my style. I just felt it was a little bit too flashy. But yeah, the Eva Clutch is such a great crossbody bag. It comes with like a long crossbody strap. It comes with like a beautiful chain, like very similar to the mini pochette, how it's got like that dangly chain at the front. So you could use that as like a shoulder bag. It fits so much. But yeah, I had thought about selling the Eva Clutch for a while for the past like maybe a couple of years. Like a couple of years ago, I wasn't really reaching for it and I thought about selling it. But the resale of it just wasn't that great and I figured it's such a great bag like I would still reach for it so I didn't end up selling it but then more recently when I picked up the pochette accessoire that's when I really knew that I definitely wasn't going to reach for the Eva clutch anymore and especially because it has the big plaque on the front I felt even just for like formal occasions like going to weddings for example I felt that was still a bit too flashy and I'd rather reach for like my Chanel square mini or my Chanel wallet on chain if I was going out to like a formal event and so yeah, I just wasn't reaching for it. And I decided to sell it, especially because like pochette bags, like these smaller bags are on trend right now. So I did actually sell it for a lot more than I, what I got quoted for a couple of years ago, like when I first wanted to sell it. So yeah, I ended up just selling it because I figured it's on trend now. It, I'm gonna get the most out of it now if rather than holding on to it forever. And like it could potentially like if big bags come back on trend i would never be able to sell that bag anymore because everyone would be looking for bigger bags rather than smaller bags so i just took the opportunity and decided just to sell it while i could and when it was still popular i guess yeah so that's why i ended up selling the eva clutch so the second luxury item that i recently sold is also from louis vuitton and i know a lot of you guys will think i'm crazy for selling this and it was my louis vuitton key pouch in damia azure and oh i don't know like i thought about it so so much like whether or not i should sell it or not so if you guys don't know the key pouch is this this little guy right here so i had this in the white checkered print which is called the demi azure and yeah so it had the white checkered print all along here and it was such a beautiful piece like it was just perfect for summer and even my lighter bags like my chanel wallet and chain in the ivory iridescent it just paired so well with it and eventually, like I always thought I would get the pochette accessoire in Demi Azor and those two would go together really well, like just like how these two go well together. But I ultimately decided to sell that key pouch, so in the Demi Azor print, because the main reason is because the canvas quality just wasn't there. Like it just didn't feel luxurious and nice to use. So this one here I've had for like, probably over eight years now like I've had this for a really long time and this canvas is so sturdy like this 
key pouch like it's so well made and the canvas is really thick and just yeah this just feels really luxurious to me and after like eight years of owning it and using it and abusing it it still held up super super well whereas with that damier azul canvas because i've purchased that recently maybe a year and a half maybe two years ago no probably like a year and a half ago i purchased that damier azul piece and it was yeah the newer canvas obviously of the key pouch but the canvas of it was just so like squishy and like pliable and just soft and it just didn't feel luxurious and nice to use so i've done a whole video on that Demi Azul piece i think i unboxed it and maybe did like a review of it so i'll link that video up here if i have done that video so you can have a closer look and i do like a quick comparison with this one here and you'll see like the way i like bend that key pouch the Demi Azul key pouch it just yeah it looked like putty or like play-doh like it was just so malleable and I just didn't enjoy using it so I felt it wasn't worth keeping in my collection if I didn't enjoy using it as pretty as it was it literally just sat in my drawer like I just never used it and every time I would reach out like want to use it I would unzip it but like the zip would go a bit like wonky because it was so soft like it was just the canvas on it was just I just did not enjoy it so I would have to like actually carefully like hold it straight to unzip it because if I just like went to like unzip it like that quickly it'll like kind of bend and like it was just way too soft and I just didn't enjoy using it so I ultimately decided to sell it especially because key patches are so popular there was no issue selling that I actually just sold it to a consignment store and they dealt with it I just didn't want to bother with it like I knew I could have probably made more if I sold it myself but yeah I decided to sell it it did cross my mind to hold on to it and maybe sell it in like a few years time like maybe five years time because the key patches always go up in price and they're in high demand but then I figured who knows in five years if these would still be in high demand and if the price would still keep going up like who knows and I just didn't want to take that chance like I just didn't want the money just sitting in my drawer when I could be using it somewhere else and especially because I have a wedding to pay for I figured I could use that money now rather than later anyway so I figured I'll just sell it now while the key pouches are really popular i also thought maybe i could do like a giveaway because i know you guys love the key pouches and it was something in my collection that i hardly used and so i'll do like a giveaway on my channel but again because the canvas was so soft i just didn't feel comfortable giving it away to you guys like i just if i didn't enjoy using it i'm sure you guys probably wouldn't enjoy using it either and yeah it just didn't feel nice using it because of how soft it was like everything else about it like the stitching and everything about it was perfect but it just it just didn't feel nice using it it didn't feel luxurious at all and not worth the price tag in my opinion so yeah that's why i just ended up selling it and yeah i don't have any regrets as i mentioned in a couple of videos ago on like luxury items i won't purchase anymore like small leather goods i already have like so many small leather goods in my collection that i can definitely like card holders especially i can definitely get away with selling one so yeah that was ultimately why i sold that key pouch in damia Zor. so the next luxury item i sold is from chanel and if you guys saw that video of luxury items that i will no longer purchase or try not to purchase i did mention these chanel espadrilles so i did end up selling my chanel espadrilles because they just weren't getting anywhere like honestly i just didn't wear them i had them for like maybe two or three years and i just wore them no more than five times they just were not getting worn i tried to break them in a couple of times but my feet just got so sore they were so uncomfortable for me and i really wanted to make them work because they're so beautiful they're so classic and everyone raves about the chanel espadrilles like how comfortable they are and i actually own espadrilles like from different brands like non-designer brands and i love espadrilles they're so easy to slip on just to wear especially during summer they're so easy to just go with any outfit any dresses jeans anything like that so i do love espadrilles but the chanel ones for some reason i just could not get on board with and i don't know if it's because of the lamb skin of them the fit of them i just find chanel shoes to be quite like narrow and restrictive and just not comfortable to wear and again it, it's probably just my feet like i just have really odd feet that i need to wear like sneakers majority of the time or just very specific shoes i always get blisters i always have to break shoes in no matter if they're designer or not i always have to break shoes in so yeah that's why i ended up selling 
the Chanel Espergils. They just weren't getting worn in my collection. I really wanted to keep them and try and make them work, but I knew if I didn't wear them, like I hadn't worn them for like the past like year and a half. So I knew I was never gonna wear them again because I knew how uncomfortable they were and how badly they hurt my feet. So yeah, I ended up selling those and no regrets. I ended up, I think getting most of my money back for those. I didn't make a huge loss, which I was really thankful for. And that's because espadrilles like from Chanel, they're so classic and the prices of those keep going up. So yeah, the Chanel espadrilles are a recent luxury item that I've sold. So kind of following on from that theme, the next and very last luxury item that I've recently sold are also from Chanel and they're also Chanel shoes. So they're the Chanel slingbacks. And again, these are such beautiful shoes. Like I really wanted to make them work in my collection. I think I got the slingbacks a couple of months after the Chanel espadrilles and or maybe just before I got them around the same time so I've had them for like three to four years and I again have hardly worn them I worn them like I think three times but they just did not work for me at all like I, I just could not get on board with them and the Chanel slingbacks are super super narrow they just like pinched my toes so so much and because they kind of like taper in towards the top like they're not exactly a pointy shoe but they do taper in a little bit so my toes were kind of squashed in that little toe box area and yeah they were very narrow and I think I don't know if I got the size like a half size too small but they just yeah were very tight on my feet but I remember the Chanel sales associate mentioning that it's good to size down at least half a size because they are slingbacks so that way it'll stay on your foot and the slingback did actually stay on my heel like it didn't slip down or anything so I didn't have an issue with that but I just found them to be very tight especially around the toe box area and yeah I would always just get blisters around there or like even on my heel like the rubbing of the slingback part would keep rubbing on my heel and yeah I don't know if that was too tight or whether or not it's just the shoe itself and probably just my feet in general like they just don't work with any shoes like that or of that nature if they're not sneakers they just don't work for me even with sneakers I tend to have to like break them in a little bit too even though they're like padded and really comfortable like I tend to have to like break shoes in anyway so yeah with the Chanel Espergils I just could not get on board with that it just didn't work with my feet like it just hurt so much to wear them I tried to make them work I tried to wear them for a couple of hours but they just didn't so they were still in like perfect condition and I ended up selling those shortly after that video that I made about luxury items I'll no longer purchase like I, I mentioned that I was thinking about selling the espadrilles as well as the slingbacks and I got a lot of inquiries about that so yeah I just ended up selling them so after the experience with the espadrilles and the slingbacks I've learned my lesson I'm just not gonna bother with designer shoes anymore I'm happy just to wear like nicer non-designer shoes and just kind of invest in like my handbags I just love handbags and also jewelry so yeah I'm more of like a handbag jewelry type of person I'm definitely not a shoe person. So yeah, after this little exercise of selling my luxury items, I would highly encourage you guys out there to look at your closet, look at your wardrobe to see if there's anything in your collection that you could potentially sell or if you're not utilizing or if you think that you'd never use again, definitely consider selling it. Even if it looks pretty or you really love it, but you're never going to use it, there's no point in keeping it. I just think you could use that money on something a lot more practical and useful. And yeah, so I'd highly recommend doing that. Definitely think about it first like you don't want to get seller's remorse by just jumping the gun and selling something just because you're not using it I think have something set aside and just think about and try and reach for it and if you don't really want to reach for it or if you just don't think it works for you anymore that's when you could sell it I'll definitely recommend waiting like maybe six months to a year maybe like a year just to be sure that you're never going to use it or you're not going to be wearing it or yeah if you're not going to miss it in your collection so yeah that was just my little tip I think out of all these items that I've recently sold I don't have any seller's remorse I'm really happy that I've sold them and that has kind of cleared up my wardrobe and collection for new things to add to my collection and obviously to save for the wedding too so yeah that is all for today's video I really hope you guys found it helpful if you guys have any questions at all please feel free to leave them in the comment section below I love hearing from you guys but until my next video take care and I'll see you next time bye